So right over here is the C organ. And it's making all of these sounds, and the C is making all of these sounds. Today we're in Zadar, a historic city of Roman ruins and medieval churches where the sea plays music and the ground lights up in all colors. You'll see what I mean soon. It's the underrated city in Croatia that deserves a second look. I skipped it last time I came to Croatia. I'm glad I didn't this time. What's up guys, it's Alexander Travelbum and this is Sandra behind the camera. And today we're in Zadar, Croatia. So we just got up here from Split. It was a couple hour drive on a bus. So we decided that we're not gonna be hitchhiking the whole time, um, this whole trip. So it's really difficult to hitchhike in Croatia and in Italy too. So we're gonna be taking Flixbus, which is a cheap bus company through these countries. What? Hmm. Okay, so right now we're looking for the boatmen, which have been taking people across in boats for about 800 years. So it's just this little thin strip. Instead of going all the way around to get to the old town, you can just cut it off by paying a very little bit to go with these boatmen across. It's going to take us from here, right over there. Okay, so it costs six kuna each, which is a dollar per person to cross this. successfully crossed from here to here. Took, what, three minutes? Yeah. Cool. And after a three minute boat ride, we're right here at Old Town. When usually it would take us about 30 minutes uh, to get there from where we're staying. We were walking along the sea when we started to hear a strange tune. It was the sea organ. So right over here is the C organ, and it's making all of these sounds, and the C is making all of these sounds. The C actually makes this music. It's a system of pipes and whistles that create a harmony when waves from the sea push air through it. The sound is hypnotic, and you can see people just sitting here for hours in a trance. Like the sea organ? Yes. <laughs> Woo! Can you believe that? <laughs> I love being asked yes or no questions. Okay, how did you like the sea organ? It's a beautiful sea organ. <laughs> so these are solar panels and the sun heats these up, uh, or gives them energy during the day and then I guess there is a light show at night. And if we happen to see that, then I'll show you that right here. But if not... <laughs> Welcome back. Have fun. Alright, so this is the Roman Forum of Zadar.
cream? <laughs> yeah, what flavor? It's supposed to be Oreo, but look at this. There's like... Alright, so we're about to go to Zolodare Beach, which is about a 30 minute walk outside of the city center. Actually, probably more of a 20 minute walk outside of the center, but we're a little further on the other side, so we have a 30 minute walk, and we'll show you a little bit of Zadar on the way to the beach. Alright, so right now we're on Calavare Beach and we're looking for a place that we can possibly set up our tent. Alright, so we set up our tent. We have our own little spot on the beach. If you're familiar with Croatia, familiar with the shape of it, you might think that there would be beaches all over because there's so many islands and it's pretty much a long country that stretches along a coast, uh, along the Adriatic Sea. But actually it's not that easy to find these sandy beaches. Most of the places that people go into the water, there's kind of a slab of concrete and then people go in from there. Uh, or it's very rocky. There's rarely these sandy beaches unless you go to some of the islands. But we found a pretty good one over here. It's still rocky, but if you want to find one in Zadar, you should go to this beach. So this is our home at the beach for the day. Look at our view. And more people are coming so I think it's time to show you a little bit more of Zadar. Alright so we're at a restaurant right now getting some hopefully kind of Croatian dishes that I got for my drink, uh, Rakia. I'm not sure how they say it in Croatia, but this is a traditional drink in a lot of the Balkan countries. So this is kind of a cherry version. Let's try it. Ooh, that's really good. It's it's like alcoholic cherry pie filling. And Sandra has a beer. Is it a Croatian beer? I think so. I got calamari and fries, and I don't know what that is. <laughs> so this is just like sakusta. Probably made with red peppers, eggplant, maybe tomato. Alright, now everyone's gathering for sunset. Look at all these people. <laughs> I told you guys we'd show you this at night.
subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more travel around the world. Sometimes it burns, sometimes it hurts. Will you say my name?